Hi, I'm Jim Kinneen, your landscape design gardener, and today we're here to talk about the sun zones in your yard. Right now I'm in an area which we consider full sun, which is six hours of more sun a day, and that's why we picked the plant material we have here. Now here's another zone in the yard. This is what we would consider partial sun, which is three to six hours of sun a day, and that's the reason that we've picked these plant materials. Now we're in a spot of the yard that is considered full shade, from zero to three hours maximum of sunlight a day. It's right next to the garage, so we want to make it nice. So I think it's time to start getting this thing cleaned out. Hey Steve, can you help me out with this? Okay, we're just about done with clearing out this bed. So our next step would be to uh, take a rototiller, turn up the soil. What we're doing here is amending the soil with this miracle Grow product. We want to put about a three inch layer down. Then what we'll do is we'll tail it into the soil and get it down to about six inches turned in. And this is great because it also has a three month feed. We've got the soil amended, now we're going to lay the plant material out. Kick it around, make sure it's in the spot where I want it so it all comes out the way we need it in the end. We have chose these plants because of the climate we're in and also the fact that this is a very shady area. These hostas love the shade and I think they do great right here. I like mixing the variegated plants with the green ones. Gives it a nice pop and this is a beautiful plant right here. With the green center, I think that's all really cool. And they got a nice flower, as you can see. Now we'll use these Mondo grass, which is a great low ground cover for shade. Doesn't need much maintenance at all. And there it is, all laid out. When you're digging plants this size, use a shovel like that. It saves an awful lot of work. Plants are down, everything looks good. The next thing we need to do is mulch it. Main reason behind mulching, well one, is it looks good. Second of all, what it does is it keeps the weeds down and also keeps moisture in the soil. That's a big important thing around here where it gets hot summers. Even though we're in the shade, this soil could dry out. You don't want to put mulch over top of these guys. You want to keep the mulch right up to the dirt level from where it came out of the container. Just a reminder, your yard is broken up into three different areas. We've got full sun, which is six hours of sunlight a day or more. You've got partial sun, which is three to six hours. You've got shade, which is zero to three hours of sun. This was a shade garden, and I think this is gonna be beautiful when it all grows in. Come see me and all the other gardeners at gardeners.com. Let's get out and play in the dirt. <laughs>